Yeah. Hey guys and girls, how you doing? Mark here, yeah, aka the 13th, yeah. from Unlucky for Some, Thank you for Alright, we've got a bit of domination for you today. I'll talk more about domination a bit later on. The gun I'm using is the G11, which is a burst fire automatic assault rifle. And the perks I'm using, firstly, it is, um, wait for it, Ghost Pro. Oh wow, camping out. No, I'm not camping it out. I'm not using the, the Ghost Pro perk for that. Not at all. Um, I'm not playing with the clan today, so generally when I'm not playing with the clan, I find that my work is really cut out for me. So, it gives me a bit of an edge, a bit of freedom, when I'm not playing with the clan, to defend the objectives that we're holding. Um, there's a massive difference, in my opinion, between camping and tactically defending. The Ghost Pro perk gives you, or the Ghost perk gives you this option to sort of stay hidden from the enemy UAVs and things like that. Um, and you can also then sort of defend the objectives that you're holding. It's, um, it's not a campus perk in every respect. I know a lot of people who use it for camping. Well, my second perk is Hardened or Hardened Pro. The pro version of Hardened, I know not that many people have got it, it gives you extra bullet damage when you're shooting at enemy aircraft. It gives you extra bullet damage when you're shooting through objects such as walls, uh, metals, wood, etc. And it also gives you, now this is the part that wins the Hardened Pro version for me, it gives you no flinch or minimal flinch. So, what I mean by this is let's say you're in a one-on-one -on -one situation, We've all been in these one-on-one -on -one situations. You're shooting at somebody, they're shooting at you. You're both getting hit markers, but because you're flinching when you're getting hit, generally your weapon goes up in the air, so you, you sort of lean back, and you're missing the target that you're supposed to be hitting. And this is what obviously gets us all angry and makes us throw controls and things like that. Um, with the Hard and Pro version, it takes away the flinch element. So, in a one-on-one -on -one situation, you're know the steadier person even though you're getting hit which generally gives you the upper hand on the enemy it's a fantastic perk you have to try it the third perk is marathon pro now again the reason i'm using marathon pro is because like i said i'm not playing with the clan when i'm not playing with the clan as i mentioned i generally have my work cut out for me so i need to get to where i'm getting quite quickly with a pro version of marathon it just gives you unlimited running so that allows me to do that Okay, so the main reason that I'm posting this video today is not so much for the domination um, or for the gameplay or whatever, it's for to showcase the G11 a little bit. Not many people use it in Black Ops, or you don't see many people using it in Black Ops. Um, the HK G11, as it should be known, is a little bit like the M16 in the fact that it's a three round burst fire automatic assault rifle. In the game, and in the game only, it's got 48 rounds in the clip or magazine. And you have 144 rounds in total. In real life, um, early prototype models of the G11 held 45 rounds, and in later models, it held 50 rounds. So, I don't know why in Black Ops you get 48 rounds. Maybe it's some sort of compromise? I really don't know. Um, as the name suggests, the HK G11 is a German-made Heckler & Koch weapon. Koch is spelled K-O-C-H, for those childish people who are watching and giggling now, not spelled C-O-C-K. Um, they stopped making this weapon or testing the weapon when Germany unified or sort of came together, you know, east and west. East and west. Um, America tested it for a while, but nef nothing ever came of it. Anyway, that's the real world, we're not talking about the real world, we live in the Black Ops world, the uh, real world as we know it. G11, in my opinion, is underrated and underused. Couple this weapon with Hardened Pro, it makes an outstanding weapon. You really have to give it a shot. So if you haven't tried it yourself, bang on the um, Hardened Perk and give it a whirl. See what you think. Let, let us know. Right, okay, Domination. In the game of Domination, I'm going to talk a little bit about Domination. In the game of Domination, people seem to think, as the name suggests, you have to dominate, i.e. you have to hold all three flags to win this game. Wrong. You don't need to hold all three flags to win this game. You only need to hold two flags for the majority of the game, in order for you to win the game. Kills don't win you the game, captures, defends, that's what wins you the game, and holding the flags. Let's say for instance, we're holding A and B flag, as we are. The enemy will generally spawn at C flag, or they will spawn at C flag. The only exceptions to when they won't spawn at C flag is if they're holding another flag, 
or if our team push too far into their spawn. So if they're on the sea flag and our, our team start pushing into the sea flag spawn, then to prevent sort of spawn trapping if you like, the enemy will spawn outside of the sea area. So think about that when you're playing, there's no reason why you can't tactically defend, wait for the enemy to come to you and you can rack up the kills that way. The kill streaks I'm using today is 3, 4 and 5. The reason I'm using 3, 4 and 5, again, I want to help the team out as much as possible. I want to give our team the advantage as much, much as possible. So 3, 4 and 5, you get them quite regular and it really does help your team out. During this game I've sort of suggested that my team haven't done much work. I'd like to give a shout out, and I'll put the name on the screen of these people, a shout out to two people in particular. The first one is Freaks HD. Freaks HD is a level 26. I've never played with these people before, by the way. A level 26, no prestige, and Freaks HD got three caps and one defend. Um, GG RSCA was the other person. Level 44, no prestige, got three caps and two defends. Fantastic team play. I was sort of pulling the shots and they were sort of following the orders and it worked out super. And in my opinion, if we didn't have these two people in this game, doing what they were doing, then we would have possibly lost this game, or this game would have been a lot harder than it should have been. So, big shout out to you two. Um, I'm going to leave it there, I'll let you watch the rest of the video in peace without me going on. So, I'll be back soon. Friendly Nepal strike on the way. Okay guys, that's me back, um, I'm coming up towards the end of the video now, just a quick one I want to make you aware of, I've recently seen on Twitter some douchebag selling guides on how to win at Domination, right, I don't agree with this, I'm a gamer for a gamer, um, and it should all be uh, passed down, so what this has prompted us to do, myself and the clan, what we're going to do is a Domination how to, so remember to look out for that. We're going to break the game down, break the maps down, show you the spawn areas, when and where they spawn, um, where they spawn if you're holding two flags, um, and what happens if you start holding three flags, and we'll also break the point system down for you, and, um, and just help you out with domination. Don't go buying this guide, there is absolutely no need to. Right, thanks again for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll speak to you soon. And you can check us out at www.doofiz.com. Speak to you soon. Be challenged. Good job.